Hey team, welcome to the Evil Lair. Um, got some pretty big news for y'all, but before I do that, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you again. Uh, y'all have been my inspiration for getting through this situation. Y'all support has helped me stay motivated in making these videos. Uh, I'm actually uploading classroom number 22 right now as I'm making the vlog. Um, it's one thing to teach a classroom of students where if I give the students energy, they give me energy back and we build and feed off of each other. It's really hard to teach a camera is what I've found in the sense that I'm trying to be energetic, I'm trying to be outgoing, but I'm not getting anything in return from the camera. Um, but it's y'all's support that has kept me motivated to keep making things for y'all, um, to keep pushing my own skills. Um, as <laughs> hopefully y'all have noticed from the very first video I've ever posted to uh, some of our more recent videos, my production quality I hope has gone up. That there's been some pretty major learning curves, but um, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you. Y'all are my motivation. Y'all's support has kept me inspired to keep moving forward and keep progressing myself. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big news. Let's talk. So as many of you have heard, May 18th, gyms are allowed to open. Guess what? You guessed it. That's right. We're allowed to resume um, operations. With that said, I'm going to hold back on saying exactly what or how we will be reopening Copperfield. Um, I've got like a seven step plan ready to go, but I don't want to say, okay, we're going to do this and then down the road them say, hey, by the way, you can't do this. And then me give you guys, me having to take back the information and give you guys new information. Um, so May 18th, we reopen. How exactly will, re will we reopen? I'm not exactly sure yet. Just because I want to wait and see if there's any other rules that pop up. Um, currently for Texas and gyms, we really have two big ones, which are kind of to be expected. Um, maintain social distancing. And uh, we're only allowed to operate at like 25% capacity. Which, easy enough to do. That that If it's just those rules, we can easily do this. And But my biggest fear is they will add new regulations um, following like what some of the other states have done. There's some states where it's like, gyms, you can open, good luck. But there's other states that have said, yes, gyms, you can open, but you can't do classes. Oh. Okay. Um, actually, a friend that happened to a friend of mine, uh, Georgia. They were um, gyms open last week, but they weren't allowed to do classes. So it's like, okay. So with that said, that's kind of why I'm holding back. Um, usually, about three to four days before something's allowed to open. Um, they come out with all the other rules, so I'm hoping by Friday I'll be able to go, okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, give you guys a much more definitive answer. The No matter what, you, as y'all know, my number one priority is always the students. My first priority is student safety. My second priority is what can I be doing better for the students. Um, that's just that's what I do. No, on safety wise, we will be disinfecting everything. Um, the day that we closed, um, which Copperfield we closed May 13th in uh, lining up with what Cypher ISD do, did. I, whatever they do, I typically take their lead and go, okay. Um, 
unless it's something not related to us. But May 13th, they announced they were closing, and I closed Copperfield following their lead, and then I cleaned everything. I got into nooks and crannies. I got, I wiped everything down. I um, mopped the mats twice. And for those that don't know, uh, one of the mat cleaners I use to keep our mats safe, um, it's uh, Kennedy Industries, I think it's like plus two or whatever. Um, one of, the, which, that stuff is actually, one of the viruses it's been proven to kill is COVID family viruses. Um, not specifically COVID-19, it's just the COVID family of viruses. So even before all this stuff, I was already prepared. Um, being a wrestler in high school, doing other close contact styles like jiu-jitsu and submission wrestling, you kind of, plus taking microbiology in, in college, you, you get a little paranoid about viruses. So I always try to use like the best stuff for the students to make sure that we always have a safe, safe and healthy environment for everyone to train in but um i cleaned the mats i cleaned everything and i'm going to do it again just before we open um so i'll probably be at the school sunday doing another wipe down of everything um we will be adding uh i guess the best term is pass by times um so allowing group a time to leave before group b comes in um, that's one of the things we'll be doing to ensure social distancing. We will also be making sure that everything is wiped down constantly. Before you use it, after you use it, we will be making sure that, uh, everyone washes their hands. Everything that we can do within reason, we're going to try to do. Um, we will, like I said, I've got an entire seven step plan on how to reopen Copperfield that I've been working on since we closed, like within an hour. Okay, this we <laughs> of us closing, it was like, what can we do? How are we gonna reopen? Um, but I'm just gonna hold back on saying exactly what we'll do. Um, I'm probably making an official announcement Thursday at the earliest, Friday at the latest. So sometime between those two. Um, that way, there's no confusion. The good news, the big news is we are opening May 18th. Regardless, we will be open. How exactly will we be open? I'll let you know. Um, again, I just, I don't want to say one thing and then turn around a day later and have to tell you guys another thing and then there's confusion and then it, no. So I will be making another official announcement on what Copperfield will be doing to reopen. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see if there's any other rules that pop up. Um, but like I said, no matter what, safety is my number one priority for the students. And what can we be doing better for the students is number two. So we will get through this. We will reopen. There may be some road bumps, but that's to be expected. Um, so. A little bit of patience, please, um, and we'll get through this. Uh, I know I've said it many times, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My computer just turned off. I gotta have my show notes, <laughs> making sure I talk about everything. Um, again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you for y'all's understanding. Uh, and I can't believe I get to say it now. Work hard, have fun, sooner rather than later now. I'll see you guys back on the mats. Good job.